This is David Hofmeister's Unwind Your Mind Back to God, read by Tarana Singh. In today's episode, we continue unlearning the world with Book 2. In Chapter 5, this is Section 5, Going Beyond the Obvious, Part 1, Wanting the Experience. David As you become a better forgetter, you become better at remembering. Forgetting helps you remember. As you forget the world, the ego belief system, you simultaneously remember heaven. You remember right-mindedness. Friend, even when we get to the depth, I still have this sense that I want to know more. I want to go further. That is when I become really aware of the fear of letting go of the world, of the familiar, like this room here with these bodies. All that seems comfortable. It feels like I need some reassurance that what is real is going to be familiar. I can read the words, but I have not had the experience yet. I keep hoping for an intermediate experience to assure me it is okay to let go of the world. David If you want it, how can you not have it? Desire is at the center. Desire is your altar. All beliefs, thoughts, emotions and perceptions spring forth from desire. When your altar is defiled, you have beliefs that are not of God. You have thoughts that do not come from God. You have emotions that do not have anything to do with God. You have perceptions on the outer ring that may seem comfortable and familiar, but they are distorted, twisted and very unstable. How can you not have what you truly desire? The only thing you really need to have is that desire, that willingness. The reasoning of the world says that you are the cause of what I do. While you attack, I must be innocent. As if there was a cause or attack outside one's own mind. The Course says that this seems sensible because it looks as if the world were hurting you. And so it seems as if there is no need to go beyond the obvious in terms of cause. Text chapter 27, section 7 In the next line he says, There is indeed a need. When you feel tired, the mind figures that the reason is because you only had so many hours of sleep or you did not have the proper food or exercise. All those things are part of the thinking of the world. When you feel a lack of energy, or a sense of preferring to have a nice, breezy, relaxing day, rather than looking at your mind so closely, that is because the mind believes There is no need to go beyond the obvious in terms of cause. People may say they need to surround themselves with course students as if somehow having other bodies around that are using course words would magically intensify one's desire to study the course. You may think that But what happens when people come together in community to try to live the course? The very thing they thought 
would, would intensify their desire, makes them run for the corners, saying, Get me out of here. They do not really want to look so closely at their own thoughts and beliefs. It may seem as if there is no need to go beyond the obvious in terms of cause. But there is indeed a need to go beyond the obvious. Friend, to go beyond the backward thinking. David, yes, you say you would like some intermediate experiences, not just the words. You can think of words as tools and symbols for the mind. They are just symbolic. Everything you are hearing has just the meaning you give to it. If your desire becomes single, focused, intense and clear, then everything you perceive will be a witness to that. You will be able to hear the Holy Spirit in everything. All things are echoes of the voice for God. All things are lessons that God would have me learn. That turns it around from thinking the words in these sessions are separate from the experience. For me, experience is not apart from the words. When I have my intention to be truly helpful, the words just flow. They are just symbolic of the experience. What I am feeling is the experience and the words are like offshoots of that experience. Let's look at the idea. The truth is true and nothing else is true. Workbook Lesson 152 It is a nice idea and yet as long as there is still backward thinking involving exercise, food, sexuality, etc., as long as you believe there is something causative in the world, then what meaning does the idea have? It may sound good, but if your experience is divorced from it, then we need to investigate everything that seems to stand in the way of that being your experience. Friend, this morning I was feeling tired and depressed, feeling like I do not have any future. I have gotten rid of this projected future, and yet I am not sure what I have replaced it with. Then I knew that if I followed that out, the depression cannot be all there is. It does not all culminate in a sad ending. There has to be a way out of this. I started to think about how I really have to stick with being on purpose. And I do feel much better now. This morning, David... This morning in our logistics meeting, a mission statement came through as a short, concise little thing. God is. If you feel depressed, like you have no future, well, there you go. That can be your anchor. God is.